Well, happy Tuesday. Um, I just finished uh, my second podcast interview on Misfire, what to do when things aren't running on all cylinders earlier today. Great interview. It's, it should be live on Monday uh, for Mastering Midlife with Mark J. Silverman. Uh, it was a delightful amount of time that we spent together visiting. It was like two old friends having coffee, which is always wonderful when that happens, uh, especially when it's two people that have never met before. So it was a delight, but it got me to thinking about um, how much I was stressing over the two interviews that took place yesterday morning, this morning, and the third one that's going to take place tomorrow morning, uh, and how anxious I was about, you know, sitting for an interview with three people that I've never come in contact with before. And I remember thinking to myself, this is going to be hard, isn't it? And uh, the answer, my answer, the answer that exploded inside my head was, of course it is. It's supposed to be hard, isn't it? Um, anything worth accomplishing is hard, isn't it? I mean, especially if it's something that you've never done before. Anything you haven't done before is going to be hard. It's going to be hard on a number of different levels. It's going to be hard because you don't have the muscle memory. You've never done it before. It's going to be hard because you're not aware of exactly what has to be done. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be incredibly difficult if you haven't prepared for whatever the task at hand might be, either physically or mentally. So, yeah, it's going to be hard. Um, anything worth accomplishing, anything of consequence is going to be hard, or at least it should be. Um, and I think that's how we learn and grow, don't you? Uh, what have you, what have you learned from doing something, anything, really, that didn't present a challenge? What lessons did you take away from whatever that experience might have been? And my guess is not much. Um, so any of the things that you're confronted with in life, and there are many, over the course of a lifetime that are difficult and demanding aren't going to be easy. I remember talking to my doctor about the transplant process after I'd done some research on the web, something that I, something that I know everybody's going to do regardless of whether I tell them not to or not, but um, I did certainly. And, uh, he told me, he said, it's not going to be easy. You know, it's going to be challenging. It's going to be difficult. There's going to be pain involved. There's going to be difficulty involved. There's going to be a lot of stretching and growing, a lot of questioning whether or not you should have attempted whatever it was you were doing in the first place. And in my case, it was the stem cell bone marrow transplant. But realistically, there was no choice. I mean, it, it would be easy to say, yeah, I had a choice. It was either be uncomfortable or, you know, go through with the transplant. My choice was a lot clearer than that, much more clear than that. It was go ahead with the transplant or die. So it's like being confronted with that and having had nobody send me a postcard or a note or a letter from the other side telling me what to expect. I decided I'd rather hang out here for a while. So it's not going to be easy, um, especially if it's a physical challenge, if it's a, if it's a medical challenge. Um, physical challenges aren't going to be easy. When I started fixing cars, I remember being absolutely terrified. I was terrified of two things when I started working on cars for a living. For my father, with my father, I was terrified of being electrocuted, and I was terrified of fire. I'd seen backfires in carbureted engines before, normally aspirated engines, and smoke and flames belching out of the carburetor. Um, 
and I'd gotten zapped before reaching for a spark plug wire on an engine that was running, which was a lot easier when ignition systems were running at about 12,000 volts, not 50,000 volts, and now 100,000 volts, which will knock you right off the fender. But I remember everybody in the shop telling me, it's not going to be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And, uh, and everybody isn't doing it. So recognize that, appreciate it for what it is. I mean, it, if it was easy, you wouldn't have to stress out over getting it done, would you? I mean, if it was really easy. Um, if it was easy, everyone in the world would be doing it. Little old ladies and little kids would be doing it. And, and probably the most telling thing of all, the most important thing of all, if it was easy, they wouldn't need you. They wouldn't need you to do it. Um, they wouldn't need your special talents and abilities. They wouldn't need your sensitivity. They wouldn't need your uh, creative ability. Uh, they wouldn't need your vocabulary. They wouldn't need your sensitivity, your compassion, your empathy, um, your commitment, your dedication. They wouldn't need any of that stuff. So try and remember that there's a reason you've been asked to do whatever it is. There's a reason that you have discovered this challenge and accepted the responsibility for getting it done. Um, and realize that it's not easy because it's not supposed to be. It doesn't have to be. As a matter of fact, I would suggest that the more difficult it is, the greater the satisfaction there is an accomplishment in getting it done and taking care of it. So if you've got an example of something that you've been confronted with that wasn't easy, let me know. I can give you a bunch of mine. It wasn't easy when I was asked to give my first speech. Actually, that's not true. It really was easy saying yes. It wasn't easy making the speech. It wasn't easy knowing what to not knowing what to do. It wasn't easy learning what to do. It wasn't easy writing it. It wasn't easy writing the book. It wasn't easy running a business. It wasn't easy participating in a successful marriage for 50 years. Not easy raising kids. Not easy beating cancer. It's not easy trying to beat cancer. There are plenty of things in the world that are, that are worth the energy and worth the effort. And I would suggest to you that none of them are easy. All of them are difficult. All of them are hard. And all of them are worth doing. Till tomorrow, stay well. Take care. Um, got my third interview tomorrow. I'll tell you all about that later on. Bye-bye. It just occurred to me that I forgot to mention two things. Um, the first is that there's a certain element of self-fulfilling prophecy involved all, in all of this. And that is that if you think it's going to be harder, if you think you're, it's going to be easy, you're probably a lot closer to being right than you think you are. The second thing is that today is October 29th, 2019, and this is Journal 210. And T plus 210, 210 days post-transplant. Once again, thank you and good night.